Hello, sports fans, and welcome to uh, Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday Post Game Show. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to once again thank my really good friend, one of my best friends, Matt Murphy, for being on my pregame show today. Uh, well, the Browns lost to the Saints, 28 to 18, at Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. Uh, uh, the Browns went up. Uh, Three nothing in the first, uh, thanks to Zane Gonzalez making a field goal. I think it was some 35 yards out. Check me if I'm wrong. In the first quarter, uh, and then the Saints kicked a field goal, and the game was tied at three. But then in the second, and they got they got within touchdowns, but they just couldn't weren't able to get anything. But Zane Gonzalez kicked another field goal, and it was good. And it was uh, uh, six three Browns, and the Saints just struggled in the first half. And, and that was the score at halftime going into halftime, was 6-3. Uh, then in the third, Carlos Hyde scored the Browns' first TD of, of the game, thanks to a great pass by Tyrod Taylor. And that was a 43-yard touchdown, I believe. Check me if I'm wrong. And the Browns were up 12-3. Uh, to 3. But Zane Gonzalez missed the extra point. That was one of two field goals he missed today, or three field goals, excuse me. And it was a nine-point Browns lead, and it was 12-3. to And it stayed that way until the fourth. Uh, and then Drew Brees uh, hit Michael uh, Thomas with a brilliant touchdown pass, and it was 12-10, to and the extra point was good, and it was 12-10, and it was a two-point Browns lead. Then Brees, uh, then the Browns just, I felt, needed to find a way to stop the Saints from scoring. Uh, then Drew Brees finds Michael Thomas open again one more time and scores the Saints' second TD of the game. And the Saints' uh, lead was now, and the Saints led 18 to 12. But late in the fourth, Tyrod Taylor threw a nice uh, pass to uh, Antonio Callaway for a touchdown, and it was I think a, a 30-yard TD. I'm not sure. Like, t- check me if I'm wrong. Or 89-yard TD, excuse me. And the Browns uh, tied the game at 18-18. But, unfortunately, Zane Gonzalez again missed another extra point. And I felt th- this was the second one of the missed. And in the final seconds of the fourth quarter, uh, Zane Gonzalez, uh, the Browns uh, decided got, got within field goal range and weren't able to get a TD. But uh, Zane Gonzalez uh, kicked a field goal. And tried to win the game for the Browns, but it was no good. That was three field goals he missed today. And uh, and then um, the Saints got into field goal range because they weren't able to get anything because the Browns were able to hold them back from scoring. And the Saints, uh, Thomas uh, uh, Muscard, uh kicked a field goal uh, from, I think, 35 yards out or 40 yards out, excuse me, check me if I'm wrong. And it was good, and the Saints won, and the Saints win 28-28. to The Saints get the win. So this was, a, this was a tough game for the Browns. Tyrod Taylor was, I thought it was a little too conservative today, and he was 22-30, 246 yards, uh, one, one touchdown, and one interception. Um, and Drew Brees was 28-35, uh, 243 yards, two TDs, and no interceptions. I felt that the offense did not play. They they just struggled and just could not hold back the Saints. The defense played well, but the the offense just struggled again. And even though they looked better than what they did last week, they just needed to uh, stop the Saints from scoring, and they just were not able to do that. And they just, I felt that they just did not play well. And that they just did not do well in that area, in those areas, and uh, the Browns had every opportunity and chance to win this game, and they just could not do it. And this is, as they say, the story of the Browns. They get the lead through the third and cannot hold it, and they need to do that. They need to hold the lead, and that's the bottom line right there. So, well, that's just what it is. And uh, now getting to the uh, early games today. Uh, the the other early games from this afternoon, the uh, Indianapolis Colts beat the Washington 
Uh, Redskins 21 to nine, and boy, what a game for the Colts to bounce the Colts to bounce back from that uh, upsetting lo- uh, upset loss last week on opening day. Uh, and uh, and it was a, I thought that was this was just a great game for the Colts there. They played well. Washington they did not do as well as they did last week. They struggled from la- uh, last week and. I felt they, the, the Colts played a much better game. The Atlanta Falcons uh, uh, beat the Atlanta, the Carolina Panthers, excuse me, 31 to 24, and they they just really, they I think they scored a TD in the fourth quarter to really seal up their victory in the fourth. Check me if I'm wrong on that. And the Minnesota Vikings and the, and the Green Bay Packers, uh, that game went into overtime and it was tied at 29 and it was 29 29 apiece. And it seesaw back and forth between Minnesota and Green Bay, and it ended up in it, in it and the final was a 29-29 tie. So they are uh, 1-0 and 1. The and 1-0 and 1. So that and Green Bay is 0-1 and or is he 1-0 and 1? And they're both 1-0 and 1. Excuse me, both Minnesota and Green Bay. The uh, Los Angeles, Char- the LA Chargers beat the. Buffalo Bills twenty one to twenty. And thirty one to twenty. And it, uh Buffalo battled back but they just could not pull out the victory. They they literally but they just could not battle back. And uh the Tennessee Titans beat the uh Houston Texans by a field goal twenty to seventeen. It was tied seventeen in the fourth and they kicked a Tennessee kicked a forty yard field goal and they and got the win. And what a seesaw battle between the horses between the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs won, though, 42-35. to Pittsburgh battled back in the fourth quarter, but just could not overcome that the point deficit. And the, uh, Tam- and the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers beat the New York Jets 20 to, uh, 27-21. to and uh, Tampa Bay led throughout this game, but they, the Super Bowl champs battled back, but they just could not. Uh, it wasn't enough for them to get the win. And the Miami Dolphins upset the New York Jets 20-12 to in New York today. And I thought the Jets did not play very well as they did last week. And, I mean, Sam Darnold had a, few, a couple great passes, but it, it just was not enough. So... That's your early game action. The uh, late games are, are have been well underway, and I think they're in the third or fourth quarters. So I'll have those in my next post game show. Uh, getting back to the uh, Browns game and the Saints, uh, Carlos Hyde had a great cut one touchdown pass, and it was a great touchdown pass. I think it was he went 43 yards today, and uh, Antonio Callaway. Caught a uh, 89 touchdown pass and went out 89 yards today. That's what that's what 89 touch and one touchdown pass. So those are the two great. They made some great plays, but there were some awful plays though. And the the refs made a few bad calls, but there were a few good calls as well. And I thought that there were uh, too many flags on the play and uh, too many penalties. But the start the field goals that Zane uh, Gonzalez missed those cost the Browns the game. I felt, and they just could not. Uh, and they just were not able to really win this one as the Saints got the win, 20 to, 21 to 18. Now, this coming Thursday on Thursday Night Football, the Browns play the Jets at home, and I feel that this game is a must win for the uh, Browns. They need to win this one at home because they do not. You don't want to go down, uh, go to. Uh, Oh, two and one. You do not want to do that. You want to go to one, one and one. So, I felt I feel this game. The Browns must win. It is a must win this Thursday night, and I just feel that they know what they need to do to win this one. They've got to look at the mistakes they made, and I feel that Zane Gonzalez, I feel, is going to be cut, and I feel that. For this next game, I feel they need to start Baker Mayfield. I've changed my mind about that. Start Baker Mayfield. If you start him, I think you're going to have a better chance to win. So I feel that's what it's going to be, what they need to do. 
Well, that's going to wrap it up for the uh, pregame show for the early games on Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday. Uh, I will have a, the late game pregame show when all the late games are done immediately following. Uh, but until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3, 2, 1. I'm done.